Have you ever spent hours researching a new critical CVE? Searching everywhere for links. Well, that takes a very long time. And you don't want to do that. So I created an AI automation that consolidates all that data and kind of does all the CVE research for you whenever a new critical CVE pops up. So this right here is the entire automation. Six steps, all you need. So the first one is a daily CVE check, which is a scheduler. So I chose 9 a.m. and to also trigger on weekends. And then goes down to the custom request using a git method via the NIST API. So you just Google NIST API and then it comes up with like vulnerabilities API and then you use the CVE API base URL. So input that into here. And then getting to the meat of things, we go to step three, which is run JavaScript. So pretty much um, it pulls the URL for the CVE detail and then the CVE ID down here. Then it also, I had it pull the X, AKA Twitter search query, like for that specific CVE down here, line 28 and 29. For the descriptions, mapping these fields, the CVE, the CVE ID, description, severity, the CVSS score, and the published date. And then this will all be mapped into a specific Notion page. And then on line 31, return, CVE ID, severity, CVSS score, published date, description, affected products, the CVE URL, and the X search URL for that specific CVE. Because everything kind of goes down on the X, you kind of hear about security news first on X, so I figured that would be a good um, search query URL to have inputted in this automation. I also added some AI hooks in here, hook one, hook two, hook three, hook four. Um, it goes with Zapier's AI, which I don't really know. I think it's um, Copilot, but since I'm a content creator, I was like come up with four different hooks based on this prompt and then it runs it through Zapier's AI and it spits out like dynamic hooks instead of a static hard-coded hooks, if that makes sense. Just for like a social media point of view. Then it creates the loop from the line items, which all gets fed into the Notion page, which this is just like a test data. So this will change like whenever a new critical CVE comes out. And then on step five, analyze and return data. Oh, I was wrong. The provider is OpenAI and GPT-40 Mini, not Copilot. So it takes the data of the CVE that it spits out in this case, uh, it's this one. And then the prompt for this, generate four unique and compelling Instagram real hook variations for a cybersecurity content creator about a CVE vulnerability. Each hook should be eight through 12 words and work as an opening line for a 15 through 30 second video. And then preview output, here are all of the different hooks um, that it has previously generated for social media purposes. And then my Notion, adding the text block to page. My page in Notion is called CVE's Urgent Content. And this is kind of how the format gets spit out into a Notion page. So this is my Notion page. Um, I connected this via Zapier's like app integration, but this is what it kind of looks like when the automation runs and everything is kind of printed onto this Notion page. And it is not the prettiest formatting, but it does the job. So here we have the NIST link. So we copy that into the search bar, and then it brings you to the CVE details link, which this one was in 1999. So very old news, but this is just example data. And then Zapier also has a co-pilot chat um, that's where I got that confused versus the open AI automation integration versus the copilot Zapier helper AI thing, um, which you can talk to it, kind of build with it. 
which for this automation, it kept on saying it fixed an issue and then it didn't. And I had to like ask it to fix the issue in like four different ways. So we have the final workflow summary here. Daily schedule at 9 a.m. Fetch critical and high severity CVEs from NIST. Our CVEs with CVSS score, publication date, affected products. Loop through each CVE. AI generates four unique hooks for each CVE. And append to Notion with all data plus AI hooks. So this is just an example of one automation you can do with Zapier. There's like tons of other stuff you can do. You can literally just prompt it. Um, if it has an app integration, you can you can use it. So instead of doing all of the pesky manual research, just create an AI automation workflow and it does everything for you. So hope you guys got something out of that. Make sure to like, subscribe, punch all the buttons in the face, and I'll see you in the next video.